Hey there, Scipio here. And uh, this tricopter that I just built and uh, just recently got flying, uh, it started out uh, from this actually exercise I was doing, which was trying to figure out how to design a tricopter around a GoPro field of view. That's how I came up with the 135 degree uh, front arm design, is I was really wanting to, uh, to get it just out of the view, but as far forward as I could. That then evolved into this exercise, which was taking the RC Explorer style tricopter, 120 degree standard sort of uh, tricopter design, and uh, figure out what I needed to do to turn it into 135 degree uh, front arm spread and still maintain the flight characteristics of the symmetrical 120 degree design. So after I reverse engineered basically in my own head uh, where the optimum center of gravity location is for the symmetrical 120 degree design I used a similar method to figure out where the optimum center of gravity position would be for a 135 degree design and then that led to me developing my own body style so that I could put the KK board squarely on top of that center of gravity location and uh, you know the rest has been uh, build history uh, of course, this is the original design I came up with, which I've since changed uh, into the design that I currently have. But nonetheless, um, I think I confused a lot of people with this center of gravity talk because I think a lot of people are, are under the assumption that this is telling you when it's built where the center of gravity is going to be. And that's not exactly accurate. It's telling you what the desired center of gravity point is of the design. So if I do a design and I print out plans, there's a spot on the plan that says this is where the center of gravity should be if you want the optimum center of gravity. Uh, how you build it uh, is up to you, right? So if you move parts around and weight changes, uh, you're going to have to figure out where your own center of gravity is after it's built and then determine if you need to make any changes, maybe by moving the battery forwards or backwards to adjust that center of gravity to align with the optimum position from the plan. So with that said, when I do my build, I'm shooting for getting my center of gravity in that optimum location. Now whether or not it works that way in reality, you know, is, uh, is a different story. And I can get it very easily there without a GoPro camera on the front. Uh, but first let's talk about how I check for center of gravity. So basically I'm just using two fingertips, one on each side of the body, the flat, flat part of the, uh, the underside of the top plate on the body, to see where it balances from front to back. I'm not so concerned with side to side because that's fairly uniform. But you can see here it balances right underneath the middle of the KK board, uh, which is where I want it. So in the last video I posted, which was actually my first test flight uh, video with the GoPro camera, I mentioned how I had to move the battery uh, all the way back onto the tail boom to keep the optimum center of gravity uh, once I put the camera on. Basically I added weight way up in the front which means I had to move weight back to the back to keep it centered. Uh, and I did that because I want to find a baseline first. This is, this is uh, you know, a, a custom build. It's still in sort of development stages so I want to get everything perfectly balanced uh, first to get a feel for what I'm dealing with. Uh, and it flew really great. I'm really happy with the design. As a matter of fact, I couldn't be happier, actually. There's a lot of thought that I put into this, and I'm happy to see some of it coming out. But now the question is, now that I know how it flies with the optimum center of gravity, what happens if I put the battery in the middle of the battery tray where it goes? How does that impact the center of gravity? Obviously, I had to move it way back to get it perfect, but where is it if I put it uh, forward a little bit right now with what I have on the tricopter? So that's what I did tonight when I came home from work. I uh, put the battery in the middle of the battery tray, roughly, you know, underneath the uh, KK board, and uh, check the center of gravity with the camera on the front, and uh, let's see how it fares. So same process, just looking for that balance point, uh, and uh, you can see where it's balancing. It's literally maybe an inch, maybe a little bit less uh, from the optimum uh, location which I had previously defined in the plans of directly under the KK board. Now the KK board itself is relatively large in comparison to how much I'm moving around center of gravity points so uh, and I, to be quite honest with you I'm not even sure exactly which part of the KK board it's best to be under so I think if we just get under the board we'll be fine. So uh, I'm gonna take this thing outside it's dark sorry um, and I'm gonna fly it real quick and just ha just see 
uh, how it changes things to have the center of gravity an inch uh, forward of the optimum design. And let's see what happens. All right, so uh, like I said, it's dark, it's cold. Uh, it actually started snowing on me while I was out here doing this. So uh, this is just going to be really quick. Obviously, um, you know, this is hovering, not flying. But man, the thing is flying just fine. Um, you know, I'm sure that there are probably some acrobatic maneuvers uh, that the minute changes in center of gravity will probably uh, be noticed with, or maybe not. I'm not sure. But for right now, the best I can tell is uh, it's okay to have the uh, center of gravity just a little bit off as long as the fundamental tricopter design is such that it's fairly well naturally balanced uh, just by the build. Uh, if you're off a little bit, uh, and still, in my opinion, you should be under the KK board as much as you can, uh, then I think you're going to be good to go. So uh, I'm not going to make any changes right now to my design. I still have more weight to add to actually the tail because uh, I'm going to put my FPV gear back on like uh, the, uh, the tail boom. So my uh, video transmitter is going to be back there. So uh, I'm probably going to actually naturally balance it out a little bit more. Uh, but I'm not going to stress over it. I'm going to just put the uh, battery on the battery tray where I built it to go, and uh, I'm going to run with it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great little tricopter. So what's the moral? When it comes to center of gravity, don't stress over it. Get it close, a good solid design, which almost all the tricopter designs I've seen out there are, uh, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to fly. So um, let, let me stress over uh, perfection and getting things just right. Uh, but in the end, um, you know, slap the battery on that bad boy, put a camera on it, and go fly it because uh, it's going to be good enough. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.